When you're looking to persuade people to buy something, you need to make promises. These promises ideally are promises that your ideal customers actually want. The question is, how many promises should you make? I'm Derek Kalpern, the founder of Social Triggers, and in this video, I'm gonna share some new research that reveals the magic number. Let's say you're a web designer. You wanna convince someone to hire you as a web designer. Your web design provides a lot of benefits to the customer. You might guarantee increased conversions, better usability, updated and professional brand identity, mobile optimization, SEO optimized on-site HTML, and more. But should you really overload your client with that much information when you try to persuade them? The new research would suggest no. Here's what happened. Suzanne Shu and Kurt Carlin ran four experiments. In each experiment, they were testing to see how many claims should be made for the maximum persuasion benefit. And they replicated this across a variety of domains, including serial, new dates, restaurants, and political persuasion. Here's what they found. Two claims were not enough. Four was too many. Three was the magic number. That means if you're a web designer, instead of telling a client everything you do, it might be best to talk about just three things you do. You can mention the other stuff, of course, but this research would suggest you're better off focusing on just three things. Now, why is three the magic number? The researchers went on to say that two wasn't enough to make a solid decision, and as they added more beyond three, the skepticism of the person being persuaded would increase. On the surface, this actually makes sense. In one of my older videos, I shared how showing people you do less can lead to them wanting to pay you more. And it's something you should remember going forward. When you're looking to persuade someone, you might be tempted to pile on the promises, but don't pile on too many. They'll think you're full of it. And worse, they may wanna pay you less for your work. Now, I have a question for you. How do you plan on using this to sell your products and services? Do you find you offer too many promises or too little? Leave a comment below and let me know. Also, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel and hop over to socialtriggers.com and get on my email list. That's where I share weekly videos, podcasts, and other insanely practical tips that help business owners and entrepreneurs get ahead in business and life. Do that now. Oh, dude, what did? <laughs> Laughter is pain. Now we have a blooper. <laughs> it actually kind of hurt, too. I'm sure it did. <laughs>